Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be doing a requested video, which is how do I remove filters in Abyss Paint. Now, this one is a little complicated because there is no set way to remove filters like they would be, for example, if you had a layer mode, then you could just change it back to normal. But with filters on here, it does not quite work like that. Firstly, for example, I'm going to be getting a couple different colors and just putting them on here so you can see what the filters do to them. So here we have a few colors. And now we're going to go into the filter menu here. I click any filter, I'll just go with mosaic. And I'll put it up quite a bit so it's all funky and pixelated. Then I'll press the tick. If you go out of this menu then, you cannot exactly erase it as you can see right here. It just says that it's normal and there's nothing to indicate that it is a filter. The only thing you can do to get rid of a filter is to press the back button. This is why I personally recommend with whatever you're doing the filter with, if you need to compress a few layers, that's fine, but to save it as another layer. So for example, if I just did duplicate layer right here and kept one hidden and used the other one and did a filter on it, then you can see that while this has a filter on it, if I didn't like how that looked, I could always just make this one invisible and go back to the normal layer that I had. It sucks there's no real way to set a filter off. I think that there should be. Even if you go back into the filter menu, it won't give you an option to get rid of that filter's effects. Even though I personally think it would be a really, really good idea for a feature. It's just something that we don't quite have yet. So again, I would recommend just keeping a separate layer of the thing that you're trying to add a filter to and hoping that that works out. This is also why you have the test menu for filters though. As you can see here, if you do a filter, so as you can see right here in this menu when you are essentially seeing what effects you want this filter to have, I think it is a really good time to just sort of figure out what effect you want to do specifically and then in the menu here where it's showing stuff you can see if you want to actually keep that which is why i think that this is a super duper important menu because then right here you can see if you want to keep the effect that the filter gives and if not you can just go out of it which i think is super duper neat so yeah remember to just keep a spare layer it would be cool if there was a way to get rid of the filter properly but as of right now we don't have that Hopefully they add it at some point soon though because it is a feature that I've been wanting to add for ages. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed and if you did maybe consider supporting. Bye!